Yo, what's going on guys? Ali and Adam here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do sidechain compression using Fruity Love Filter. I've been using Fruity Love Filter for a while, but I didn't know this kind of hidden, really amazing technique inside of it. So uh, I was experimenting today and uh, got some pretty cool results I wanna share with you. So let's jump right into it. So first things first, let me show you what I have in my project. I have a kick and just a bass and lead preset that I made and I'm going to play back so you can hear the obvious problem that the bass and the kick are interfering. Okay, so this is a classic problem. Most people will go to things like Fruity Peak Controller or Fruity Balance or they might draw a volume curve. Um, in many projects I'm using the um, Nicky Romero sidechain plugin. And so there are a variety of ways of doing it, LFO tool as well by Steve Duda. But this is a great technique and I think you guys are gonna love the level of control you get. Um, some people also use gross speed, so there's so many uh, volume shapers. So first things first, um, let's take a look at this. So this is the Fruity Love Filter. I'm gonna switch it to default. Okay, so we're just on the def default. Now when you put Love Filter on, um, you will see that you'll have a filter. And we don't want that filter. So first things first, turn off the filter. And next thing, go to the volume tab down here. Click on volume. Okay. And there's a few things we want to do. We want to make sure tempo is checked so it syncs to the tempo of our project. Next thing we want to do is enable envelope. So this will enable an envelope so we can draw an envelope. So we'll come back to that. If you guys um, have some of these on, I would recommend just turning on this magnet so that that way it snaps to the um, bars that we have so we can get a nice smooth curve. And so let's jump right into it. Tempo is on. We're going to have this envelope on. We have the magnet on. Let's drag this first dot down. Okay. And right click on it and click loop start because we're going to create a loop envelope for our side chain. So we're going to be able to create really cool effects with this and get a nice different result of sidechain. If you guys want to tweak and have a higher level of control, because I love the Nicky Romero plugin, I love LFO2, I love all those, but it's good to now and then try different techniques. Um, here we go. So I'm just right clicking to draw these points here. The last point, I'm going to go like this to drag it up and down. The last point I put here, so I'm going to just show you that again. So I right clicked and I'm right clicking again and now we have it. So we have our first, we have the last, we have this. Let's go on the end one, right click and hit uh, sustain loop end. This will end and begin. So this is again the loop start and we have the sustain loop end. Now when we play it back, we're going to get probably a really deep side chain like it's probably going to be way too much, but let's experiment. recommend tweaking it a bit more to of course fine tune it to your personal needs and how your kick sounds how you want the kick to cut through the mix but um, a really cool thing with this is of course we can avoid problems with envelope curves like needing to be ended too early we can avoid um, transients cutting through so you can create some more space for the mix obviously you could bring this up the min and max values to reduce the overall um, min and max so that that way if you want the transients to cut through a bit maybe you can bring that up a bit but if you're doing it on a base you could you know safely put it pretty low there like either at the very bottom or bring it up one last thing i noticed was that when i was listening to my uh, experiment when i turned on this button hq envelopes high quality envelopes it got rid of any clicks or glitches so I would recommend leaving high quality envelopes on in regards to oversampling I would probably experiment um, I heard an audible difference when I would use filters in the past not sure if that's gonna affect the 
just the volume. So experiment with that. In this case, I would probably just leave oversampling off or on the default. High quality envelopes on. And again, just remember, if we're resetting from default, it's very easy. Just to recap, default, turn off your filter, go to the volume section, turn on envelopes, make sure tempo is on, start, so loop start, sustain loop end, draw another curve, and you guys can get, you know, however you want to do this, you can do it. You can customize this however you'd like, but make sure that you're, um, because your kick drum is playing basically at every bar. So right there is where the bar ends for the next kick drum. So that gives you an idea. And again, I would use the magnet because if you don't use the magnet, it's going to be like this. It's going to be a pain in the ass. So use the magnet. Definitely. It's going to make it very easy. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. It's something that not, not a lot of people take advantage of, but I'm definitely going to use this moving forward um, because it's just really powerful. Fruity Love Filter is a zero latency plugin. And you guys can combine this with the different elements of Fruity Love Filter to just give you a lot of bang for your buck. So hope you guys like this one. Uh, comment below. Let me know what DAWs you guys are using. Are you guys using FL Studio? Um, in the future, I'm going to be working on patches and banks for massive sound sound banks samples and stuff like that so if you enjoyed this drop a like if you didn't like it drop a like if you liked it subscribe to my content and if you didn't like it still subscribe leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next video take it easy